at all this open area here. Yeah, this is better. Way away from things a little bit. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be very level, but we'll find out, won't we? I've been surprised before. Hey, I've been surprised before. <laughs> so we're going to, Jacqueline's going to get it a little level out of the uh, I'm trying to shade your face. Oh, look. Oh, bunny ears. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait. Is this funny to you? <laughs> it is. It is funny. Is this funny to you? It's <laughs> a pretty good bunny rabbit. Look, the bunny says, yep, it's funny. It's been a long So the last time we were in this area, it was snowing, correct? Yes, it was. This was not in the picture at all. Dave said, let's go out in the national forest with our friends. It'll be fun, he said. Don't remind me. I know, so this is beautiful, perfect weather. It's about 70 degrees and awesome. Nice little breeze. When we first got here, it was really windy and we were like, ugh, more border hookups garving wind. Yeah. But now it's beautiful, perfect weather. Can't complain. Yeah, we we're just talking about uh, getting packages on the road. What'd you get? I'm so excited. This is our travel Berkey. So it's a travel size, smaller than most Berkeys. And I'm very excited about this. It's nice when you actually have a place where you can receive packages and you're going to be there for a little while. So about a week we're here. Mm -hmm. So what we do is keep a running list in our AnyList app and it says what's coming in and where it's going. Because you forget sometimes. And if you leave and it shows up and you didn't remember it was showing up, then you gotta either send it back or figure it out. Packages on the road. We should do a whole episode. I think we should. All right, we just did. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm really excited today because we got a Berkey. Um, what we usually do is we have bottled water and it's really difficult to find uh, recycling on the road. And I, for one, go through a ton of water, like a gallon a day. So we crunched the numbers and we found that if we would get the Berkey, it would pay for itself in about four or five months. So we ordered a travel size Berkey and I'm gonna unbox it. So look at that. That's not, uh, that's not too big. We can keep it right here or we can find another space on our counter for it. I'll have to assemble it all, but I'm really, really excited about this. Clean water. today to come up to the summit of Monarch Pass and we're going to hike. Uh, we had some neighbors across from us in the, what's it called, Chavano National Forest yeah. and uh, they said that it was a really nice hike up here. So I brought a lot of warm clothing just in case because we're at about what 12,000 feet I believe and so we're gonna go and look and find out where the trail is. It is chilly up here got my coat or sorry my sweater I'm gonna put that on also brought oops, sunscreen my little winter winter jacket but hopefully I will not 
Hopefully I won't need that. Hopefully I'll just need my sweater. be fun. Pretty neat. <laughs> I don't think that's the way they were intended to be used. Hey babe. Hey. What do you think of this view? It's pretty nice. Yeah? We should build a house right here. Could you sit here forever? Yeah. this thing goes but it's definitely feel it you really feel it really nice so you know we went a couple of miles and it was a pretty steady incline so it was still a workout yeah it was a workout it was fun it wasn't like the trail at in ura where it was steps right more of a road and if the yeah. uh forest service is watching jacqueline went up the hill that we weren't supposed to go to so the sign that said authorized vehicles only no public i think we took the wrong one it's kind of confusing though that's with signage i don't know what it is but you can see all the radars back there. I think we stumbled upon a radar installation that we're not supposed to see. So if we don't show up back in our next video, you'll know why. Right there. So we're going to head back and take the other trail. Because we are definitely not authorized personnel. Honey, are you authorized personnel? She says no. No. Well, she was completely unauthorized personnel. And Dave followed me. <laughs> I'm like the little bear cub, following the mama. Yep. All right, so we're back at the uh, visitor center filling water again. Now we have a bladder. And basically it's a large fabric water balloon. But these are sometimes easier because I have the generator in here, I have sharp objects, I don't want to pop a $100 bladder. I ended up getting, in this case, the Aquamatic 2, which cost me uh, $160, over $100. So we just use the water jugs here because we'll come back in a day or so. So what does our water bladder look like? Right here. We're trying to get this done as fast as we can because if you look behind you, you, Jack One, we have rain in those mountains. Probably snow in those mountains, actually. That's probably snow. I don't want snow coming near me. So we're just filling water here and we'll throw it in the back of the truck, work our way back up the mountain. And uh, it's always good to have extra water. Because when you're filling water, if you don't have a little thing on the end of your hose to, to turn it on and off, I just go like this, squeeze, and like that. There you go. Squeeze them off like that. And then you can let it flow again. Are you giving me that I'm talking too much? Jack would just gave me that. See? You guys get to experience this in real time. I get shushed up. You... Hey, I'm the director right now. So you have to listen to me. <laughs> I want to renegotiate my contract. <laughs> Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. As you can see today, I am not in the RV. 
I'm in a hotel room with my sister and my mom who's videoing this. We are in Las Vegas on vacation. Woo -woo. <laughs> so today I just wanted to say that the healthy living tip is to have breakfast. A lot of my clients forget or they don't want to eat breakfast and that is one of the things that um, shuts down your metabolism. So I made sure to bring some things for us for breakfast. Um, I brought some yogurts and these are my favorite yogurts. Two good yogurt, a lot of protein in there, low sugar. And then I brought some bars that are on my program because sometimes you don't have time for or you don't want to make a giant breakfast. So just have a yogurt, a bar, something like that with a lot of protein and you're good to go starting to fuel and fire up your metabolism for the day. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's been another healthy living tip with Jacqueline and Cheryl. Perfect. <laughs>now because they are not even really close to hitting but I know Dave is watching the bed rails of the truck and the camper right now but oh that was close though <laughs> that big bump right there but it still worked out so the back jack was like this far imagine if we would have had our old ones on that would have scraped really bad looking good though awesome
also we rolled into this harvest host and this one's a little different because they don't really give you a way to make reservations they kind of say roll in talk to the bartender when you get here but it looks like the parking lot's pretty full let's have to figure it out Jacqueline ran in to talk to the bartender and hopefully they have room because it's getting to be to the end of the day and the last thing we want to do is be looking for a spot when it starts getting dark so don't normally do this uh, this isn't normally the setup but we'll figure it out and I'm sure it's gonna work all right so he said just to pull over by the house okay over there he said anywhere over there okay we'll go over there all right let's check it out so the plan is to stay hooked up I was gonna unhook but Jacqueline said let's just stay hooked up and we're just gonna stay one night and then uh, take off in the morning so we'll just stay connected hey yeah. little note yeah remember those goats heads that got in our bike tires yeah. and are like so strong yeah they have them here they're in the tires no they're in my hand <laughs> oh well at least they're not in the tires right come on priorities this is exciting stuff this is good I'm gonna head over and see what all the people are all about ready she's ready frustrating for people who are waiting but somebody probably lost their life yeah it's that bad they don't just right. block off the freeway right they don't pull it over to the side of the road they have to do an investigation all yeah. of that yeah it's it's not good it's, wow it's just never ending good it's not good it's like somebody rear-ended that truck this whole back was blown out and somebody oof. was the semi that was on the tractor their front end was all yeah. pushed in so they must have rear-ended the that other semi yeah, it's not good so hopefully um, nobody's hurt I hope so yeah. get some gas real quick and Man, I can't get that accident out of my head. It was just horrific. Um, oh, I just hope the best for everybody there. Hoping for the best.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Barter Hookups Go RVing. And please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. I thought we were going to change that. <laughs> They're waiting. <laughs> all right. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below so we know what you're thinking. And we hope to see you out here and not moving every single day. We'll see you out here.